ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another m- the match preview show. Uh, today's obviously the big game um, tomorrow night. Celtic take on AZ Altmar in the first leg at home um, in the playoff round. So this is their chance to get in Europe. It's a must win. It's a must win um, round for Celtic if they want to get European football. The decent stage of Euro Europa League. You know, if you go into Europa Conference League, it's just a bit more embarrassing than it should be. Um, it's a must for Celtic to get Europa League football. Um, but uh, before we get guys to subscribe, like, we've hit 1. 1,014 something like that. Subscribers, recent views, and subscribers been great, guys. Keep it up on the channel, and I'll just keep giving it back to you with match day vlogs. I am um, tomorrow night, they said, out my game, which should be a good game. Uh, let's go to Ange Posh Coglu's interview. He said that Liga Bada will be fit for tomorrow, but Ryan Christie will miss out. That's a big blow. I mean, Ryan Christie coming. Out, but I love your bad coming back in, which is good. I like to see him going. Mean, he played really well against Dundee, so hopefully, he can do as well tomorrow night. He also says the club are very close to a couple of deals. I like so you, you know, he, he added right back Yosef uh, Juranovic is one of a number of players that they have been linked with, but wouldn't be drawn on individuals. So, so to our, um, link with a couple of players, it's, just, it's good to see that. And Paul says they're mm-hmm. close to a couple of deals, so hopefully, we can get them done. Before I do, let's get into the preview, you know, a fun hurdle to clear into the Europa League, group, uh, the Europa League groups, um, one more, and it's a Europa qualifying round, it's the playoff. Celtic Welcome Dutch outfit, AZ Altmar to Parkhead for the first leg of the outfit tomorrow night, and Posh call was men, ease past Javon 7-2, and I guys, you've seen it on Thursday night there, it was a great game to be at, lovely atmosphere, first uh, full stadium back over, probably over a year. Um, after testing a few weeks, which... Um, after, sorry, after a test in a few weeks in which hardly any anything could go right for Posh Coglu. The new Celtic boss has been seeing his fortunes dramatically improve over the last few weeks with the boys heading into the Wednesday's first leg on a four-game winning streak in all tournaments. After Michelin crushed their Champions League the dreams early doors, Celtic dusted themselves down for a Europa League third-round tie with Javanek and Post Coglu's men marched a 4-2 victory in the Czech Republic before a final success on home soil. A 6 0 Thrashna Dundee in the Premiership action was sandwiched in between those tags, and Celtic also advanced to the quarterfinals of the Scottish League Cup over the weekend with a thrilling 3 2 success over Hearts. As odds on Edward looked like he really enjoyed himself at the weekend, Kyle go for Ashley Wells to say the, the celebration. <laughs> and Stephen Wells made, um, and made the goals. Um, well, it doesn't start this competitive reign firmly consigned to history. Postco has his sights firmly set on a fifth consecutive Europa League group stage appearance for Celtic, who have suffered defeat at this stage of Europe Europe's secondary tournament all the way back in 2011. Having held down the third spot in the Eredivisie's table for the final months of the 2020-21 season, is out and missed out in Champions League qualification by a whisker and now wine for a third consecutive group stage appearance in the Europa League. Uh, Pascal Janssen's side enjoyed a solid pre-season campaign with victories over OFI, Real Sociedad, Real, Real Sociedad and Trino, but er, Eredivisie season kicked off in a disappointing fashion Saturday as RKC Valjeek uh, frontman Michael Karamash struck the only goal of the game to his side on the stroke of half time. If a lack of competitive action was one thing, kicking off the, the new season scoreless, pointless, and winless is hardly a recipe for success either. But AZ can, uh, as uh, you know, Altmar, uh, can take solace in the fact that they have never been knocked out at this stage, I don't believe, really, when they have, pre- pro- they have progressed this far previously. Both clubs uh, do have the safety net of the Europa Conference League should they fail to produce the goods over the next week and Wednesday's game marks the final, if it's fine, the first ever meeting uh, between the two sides in competitive action with AZ's only other clash against Scottish opposition seeing them claim a 1-0 win over Rangers in the 2004-2005 UEFA Cup. So Celtic Europa League form is a 1-1 obviously against Jabonet. Celtic's form in all competitions is a loss-loss, 1-1-1-1. Um, the two losses themselves, obviously, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the loss is. I mean, the Hearts game, the Michelin game, yeah. Um, AZ Dartmoor in all form have lost just one game a season because they've only played one game compared to the season. They've only started, was it the weekend there? Um, Celtic are sweating over the fitness of Ryan Christie, as I said, but we just heard today that uh, Ryan Christie will not be in the, the... He'll not be fit for the first leg anyway. However, Elia Bada is set to return to the squad, as, as he said in his interview, Andrew Postal said. Um... But Julian will start to be out for a little while, according to Plus Coglu. Joe Hart had made, had made the number one spot 
his own after Ryan from Tottenham. Earlier this in the summer and the Premier League winner should form part of an untouched back line for the hosts. Uh, meanwhile, AZ left back going. Winjao is ex- is still nursing a growing problem and is not uh, expected to pass fit for the first leg. Um, that's a really, you know, if you go for the start, possibly start really it for tomorrow night, guys. It's going to be a exciting game. Atmosphere is going to be amazing. I think Celtic at home, first leg, I mean, I would have been kind of happy. I would have been more happily happier if, I, if we were already the first leg and then, you know, the second leg back. But, you know what, first leg, it's going to... Celtic must have must be get they must they need sorry they need to get off to a good start in the first leg. There's no about that. They've got the fans behind them, um, and it's gonna it should be a good game. It should, Celtic should really test AZ out, man. I think they will. Um, you know, Celtic's possible certainly. I'm gonna go with Joe Hart, Anthony Allison, Starfelt, Welsh Taylor. I think it's gonna be a touch back line to be honest with you. I mean, it's something with defending. You know, mistakes from Starfelt where he causes the two goals in Saturday. I mean, the penalty and that the second goal. No, no time to go um, and um, you know that's why you need depth there for another centre back you know not to put him in right away but you know just to say you know start if you're not going to perform the you know the way it's out you know the good defence wise you know you've got somebody there to test you know we'll take you out of the team um, I think McGregor Turnbull Roderick Abado will make the midfield in the wing and Edward Furashi potentially start from I don't mind if uh, Furashi starts himself up front but he looked we looked absolutely out this world in, yeah, in Sunday's game against uh, Hearts. Pff, what the, I don't know, prime, I don't know, but a prime Barcelona team. They were absolutely excellent um, Celtic in Sunday. I mean, they, you could put a foot wrong with them. And, um, brilliant football they were playing. Right? Back line to the forwards. Um, obviously, you got to get a wee bit shaky into the game, but it was all Celtic the first half, and it was great. And hopefully we can do, not just the first half, we can just go the whole, the whole game, try and keep the, the tempo up. And get the goals in. That's it. They killed maybe potentially kill the tie off, but then again, you know, you can't really tell potentially going away to a uh, the you know Dutch, um, the Netherlands and um, going to be AZ the AZ Altmar. I mean, they they could have fans, and I'm not too sure what the situation over there is. I'm not too sure how many fans are going to be over there, but it's going to be. Uh, I still did get the tie done. Went tomorrow night. I don't see shot, but they still should try and not concede any goals when they're going away the second leg. But it's a must for Celtic getting a short league. Uh, you know, you could say money wise, but to get your league football, it's not the best. You always want a Champions League football, and it's you know, it's really bad how we went out um, against Michelin. But you know, Europa League football is still something. I mean, hopefully we can progress further than the last day or two. I mean, we had it on our hands against Copenhagen, we blew it, but hopefully we can do better. <laughs>